big news. We have an announcement to make. Good morning, guys. I'm just trying to pull myself together so that I can go to the gym. Got a lot going on today. I need to do the laundry. Maybe I can get the boys to do it for me. I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice, right? Oh, thank you. Oh, good job. You're doing such a good job. Let me help you. Let me help you. I'll help you. You go help brother. Wow, you guys are so great. Oh, okay, let me help. Okay, y'all did such a good job. So, these are actually like teeth cleaning lollipops. So, it's actually like healthy for them, like clean their teeth, I don't know how, but sugar free. Vegan, gluten free, non GMO, all that stuff. So, but it's their reward because you did such a good job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you, Tonio. Yeah, y'all. Will y'all look at this? I don't know what to do. This has never happened before. Like, it has never happened to me. I was YouTubing some stuff, trying to see, and the only thing that I saw that I could do is freeze it. They said if you put this in the freezer, it will freeze the ink, and then um, you can pull it off. But I did not steal the dress. <laughs> I have the receipt. I can take it back up there, but the nearest Agassi is like, <sighs> bro, it's not that far. It's just one of those things like, I don't have time to go over there. I don't feel like going all the way over there. Um, if I have to, I will. But if I can find a simple solution for this, I would rather do that. So I don't know. I'll keep y'all posted on what I do because I really like this dress and I really want to wear it. So I know I'm looking real braggish probably right now. Say hey guys. No, no, no. Say hey guys. Hey guys. Hi. 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 You want to say hi? We're about to go to Candy's oh. Sex Dungeon oh Show. Um, so, I'll pack it. I'll pack this is the end result of my makeup. And I'll pack it. Out. The end result of my makeup. How did I do? I took my time today, didn't have to rush. But I can go put my outfit on, so I'm gonna let y'all see that. Don't do that. Fighting on my feet. And they're gonna spend the night. Where are we going? Uncle House. We're gonna go to Uncle House. <laughs> so they're gonna go to Uncle House. And we are gonna have a date night. So I remember I told y'all, me and Deron. We're doing like a special date night every month. It has to be a date night where it's not just dinner and a movie. And so we try to alternate months who picks that activity. Deron actually picked this one. He's the one who wanted to go to the, the dungeon. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. We can do that. And so I'm excited to see. I've heard good things about this show. We're going to go eat before. And we're gonna see how far I can take y'all with us because I don't know if they only let me let the camera in there, but hopefully, I don't know. If not, I'll just insert like some footage or something. Boy, stop! It's tummy. Yes, mommy know her tummy is fat. All right, so here is my outfit. So I thought I'd be a little risque since you know. It's the dungeon, and 
and I've had this for like a couple of years. I've had this for ages and never really had anywhere to wear it to. So I finally have somewhere. I wish I was a tad bit smaller, but you know, y'all gonna take whatever body y'all can get right now. And that's Duran's outfit. Rocking Michael Kors. Very dapper. Where you get that from? What? The shirt. I got a lot of clothes in there. Oh, really? That's so Stefan. He go across the legs of us. Like, what you want to ask me? <laughs> He's so silly. Are you hungry? Huh? Don't, don't pull it. Are you hungry? Stefan, say no. Tom, Tom, you're not hungry. Happens in my crew. Say y'all. Duran said I look beautiful tonight. It's rare. It's not rare, but he added really to it. That's what makes it pretty big. If the door is open at eight, you don't think we're gonna have time? You think people gonna be on time? Which is where we're going. It's like stupid long and we shouldn't risk going to go sit and eat somewhere. So, we'll Duran. Anyway, yeah. I want I have later, probably. Waffle House. Ooh, Lord, Greasy Waffle oh, House. <laughs> but, big news. We have an announcement to make. I am with the child. Uh, of course, that's I not the number one. But, let's oh, wait. Like no onions. Okay. I don't like and in and out. Uh, lemonade. I'm not gonna go to Taco Cabana over there. Yeah, I, don't like. I don't care for uh, in and out. All right. So the big news is we are now debt free. So we became debt free as of like around two weeks ago, and y'all know that was our main goal. That was our main focus. And minus this car note, which I think we're gonna get rid of it too, to like get something else. Mainly because I want to downsize from an SUV. It's so much gas. Truth moment, we were about how much in debt? Um, about you said 806? Huh? No. So, how much in debt were we? 32,000. We were 32,000. Credit card debt. Credit card debt. So Steve. that's. I mean, we're in debt because of. Stu like car note. Car note. Student, student loan. loan. I mean, who cares about student loan, right? But just some of the. Y'all know the sacrifices we took to get to this point, which was selling the house and renting well you know we're still renting out the old house so we get the money from that and then we downsized we really cut back and so now we have no credit card debt I don't want any other credit card debt we still have the credit cards open because you know they say not to close them um, so they're still open. did you close any of yours you didn't close any so, how does it feel? It feels good not to have to pay all. Because it was six, a total of six credit cards. Mm. 
having to pay each one. So just, just good to do that. Put the money towards something else. So speaking of putting the money somewhere else, we're putting it towards a big trip. Tell them where we're going, babe. Maybe Singapore. <laughs> so y'all, all of a sudden, I want to go to Singapore. And it started by, because y'all know we were supposed to go to L.A. We ended up not going to L.A. That was another one of those sacrifices. I mean, you know, like, why? Just, just cut back, continue to focus on saving money and doing what we need to do. And so we were like, you know what? Since we're not going to do L.A., let's just do a big trip. So I did some research, and I ended up stumbling upon um, Singapore on Instagram just so happened the very next day crazy rich asians came on and i just fell in love with it and i started doing more research and now i'm like we gotta go to singapore so we may do that for our fifth year anniversary which is you know relatively coming up i guess you could say um next april so you know we're debt free why not Duran wanted to do the Bahamas. He wants to go back to where we got married. Wish that was the plan, but... I think we should still go. Why? We've been back to the Bahamas twice already, though. Like, Not really. been back. We've been to the Bahamas twice. We've been back once. But why would you want to go? I mean, would, that, would you really even have fun going back? Yes. We've literally done everything there is to do in the Bahamas. No, we didn't. I feel like we have. I feel like we've done everything there is to do. We got some more excursions and... <laughs> what other excursions we gotta do? Uh, I, I just, I just gotta look one. into Singapore some more because I don't, I don't know what's out there. It's beautiful. I really want to go to Singapore. Of course y'all see like the trendy place to go to right now is Bali. I don't know what that's about. Maybe Bali is beautiful. More power to you if y'all running over there to Bali. It doesn't interest me. Um, I want to go to Singapore. And I think because it's like such a city and bright and oh, it's so beautiful. We go to Singapore, we got to get a, a place like in the middle of the city. It's all city. Oh, That's the thing. Like it's just, it's all city. <laughs> I'm out. 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 I'm out.
doing something. Y'all just don't know. I've been saving this outfit. I'm like, I need to save it somewhere where I'm, I can be real sick. And so, I thought I was doing something she said, coming at the be a little risque. I know. <laughs> like, girl, you tamed as hell. I thought I was doing something. I look, I was, I was a little worried. I was like, Candy may have to tell me to go home once she see this lace covering these nipples. <laughs> I like this may be a little too much for Candy. They may not even let me in the building. They out here with just stones on. I just you know, I thought I was gonna be doing something. <laughs> Hey, look at this. Look at this. I just... I need to go and reconsider what I... What I call sexy. I... I... I like, I don't know. I don't know the ride. They may not let us in. They may not let us in if they... Even around with a little word, he like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> that's because we're church-going people. We to dab a little bit, but that's it. Definitely dibbing and dabbing. I would say, like, internet, social media really distorts what you think people's bodies look like. Don't get me wrong, Candy. Candy look like what Candy look like on TV. You think so? My opinion. She didn't to me. Like she like she looked like a regular body, which is good. Like it made me feel like, oh. You look like any every, other chick I see. Everybody got cellulite. Everybody got cellulite. Shout out to the cellulite. You know, everybody don't look like a photo image in real life. And it that really changed my perspective. Um another thing, the main thing I was looking at. Did you want to try to get some I'm thirsty and I don't know what. The main thing that I was looking at was, and it kind of motivated me, but y'all, of course, you know, she tells the whole story about how she came up with this idea, which was from a bad rumor and made money off of it. And I don't know, like, I just kept thinking about like, dang, this is a legit businesswoman to just have an idea and execute it flawlessly because really the show was flawless like just seeing how everything was put together it's like all of this came from an idea and it really showed like you can execute something if you really go for it so it was really motivating and i was really like give me a bad beat but let's go eat they asked you